All right, if you find that rent, home prices, and taxes in New Orleans, Metairie, and similar areas are just too high for you, then St. Bernard wants you to check out their parish. It's thriving, growing more than any other parish in the state, according to the latest census. Tan Trong puts what's happening there in focus. Hey, baby, how are you? Before and after Hurricane Katrina. Can I get two large macaroni? Rocky and Carlos has captured the essence of St. Bernard Parish. Thank you. Look at this restaurant. This restaurant was flooded in Katrina. It burned a few years after. They rebuilt it. People come back. You come to Rocky and Carlos and you look around and it's all St. Bernardians mostly. But nobody here is surprised in seeing some new faces. And in the past decade, more than 8,000 people have moved to St. Bernard. It may sound small, but when you consider the parish's population was practically cut in half in the years after Katrina, this trend is significant. The census puts the parish's 21% growth rate top in the state. I was born and raised in St. Bernard Parish, and I love it down here. I'm raising my family down here. My wife relocated from Metairie. So anyway, this is this court, y'all. We met real estate agent Jacques Alfonso at a newly built house in the St. Claude Heights neighborhood, where new construction is replacing many of the old ranch homes that flooded in 2005. Architecture in this part of Araby is now more modern and mixed. On a home price, we're probably looking around $200 a square foot. When Alfonso meets with clients, he feels comfortable selling the lows in the parish. Lower taxes, lower home prices, and lower crime. It's just a very safe community. We have an excellent infrastructure here. The school system's wonderful. So it's really great, and it's a great opportunity, I think, for, for the young people to, to come to St. Bernard Parish and be part of it. There's no shortage of praise for the parish, and certainly no shortage of honest takes on what it has to offer. I don't think anyone's going to uh, confuse uh, Judge Perez Drive with St. Charles Avenue, but uh, we're very proud of, of our informality. As we tried to interview former parish councilman Michael Bayham, a regular at Rocky and Carlos wanted to say hello. You want to be on this too, man? Yes, sir! The parish still has characters, apparently. Well, we certainly do. Uh, we're, we're not a boring place. And according to the latest census data, more people are discovering that. In Shalmet, Tan Trung, Eyewitness News. Rocky and Carlos does have the best mac and cheese on the planet. Just saying. All right, for comparison, the growth rate in the past decade for St. Tammany Parish was 13%. Orleans grew at a rate of 11%. And Jefferson Parish at just 2%.